show Monday. We had a couple of technical difficulties usually go live exactly at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, but you know what? Technology is not perfect, and so we had some issues. Google Hangout kicked us out, so we had to regroup, remix, and bring it back. So today we're going to be talking about Brand You. If you're just joining us for the Fran Harris Show, this is your first opportunity to see us go live. This is 30 minutes of pure bad assery. That's what it is. So sometimes I do a, a straight to camera like I'm doing right now. Sometimes I do some interviews. Sometimes it's a mixture of different elements. But make no mistake about it, it is always 30 minutes of pure bad assery. I do this show to help you have an amazing badass life and to create a, an amazing and badass business. That's what the Fran Harris Show is all about. So that's it for the introduction. Here is what's on tap for today. So we're going to talk about four folks, four brands who I believe have created this century's, probably in this the universe's history, four of the bad asses. Is that how you say it? Four badass brands. Seriously, these four folks have done it in a way that you can take something from it and truly emulate it to create your own badass brand. So today is about creating badass brands. How many times can I say badass, by the way? All right, so the first one we're going to talk about is Lady Gaga. We're going to talk about Lady Gaga because I think they're one of the first things you have to think about when you are thinking of creating your own brand is what is it going to be that's going to separate me in the marketplace? And you've heard probably ad nauseum people talk about your USP, your unique selling proposition. So I'm going to kind of turn that on its head because it's kind of, to me anyway, it's kind of an overused term. But when we look at the folks that we're going to talk about today, there's something very different about them. There's something very badass about these brands. And there's without question some things that you can take from how they've gone about creating their brand to put it into your life, into your business, to really create some separation out there. Now, I talk a lot about separation. And I talk a lot about se separation because before the internet, you were you were separate because you got to be on television, you got to be on radio, you got to create separation in that kind of way, right? But what the internet has done is given everybody a microphone, has given everybody a camera to become a star. So now the job of creating separation and difference in the marketplace and distinction in the marketplace is much more difficult because everybody's got access to the same tools. Now, I love that but it makes your job of creating a badass brand much more difficult, all right? So let's take a look at four folks who have succeeded in a very big way of creating badass brands. There are lots of others. We'll talk about this in future editions of, of the Fran Harris Show. But these folks have done it in a way that is really remarkable and some things you can take from it immediately and put it into play for you. So if you're just joining us, on the Fran Ash, Fran, <laughs> Fran Ash show, the Fran Harris show, you are in for a treat. Let's talk about Lady Gaga. No, make no mistake about it. When you see Lady Gaga, right, you think we have not seen anything like this chick. There is nothing like her on the planet. And there are a couple of things that really distinguish her from other folks. First thing is that she is unapologetically herself, right? I don't know what she was thinking when she started putting her brand together, when she started crafting her brand. I don't know what she was thinking, but probably the same things I'm sharing with you right now. is like, okay, I'm going out there. Maybe I'm not the best singer. It's not about being the best singer. Maybe I'm not the best looking person out there. But there's something I can do that will make people stop and take notice. There's something that I will be able to do where people will see me and go, you know what? We have never seen anything like her. So, and she couldn't stop at just being a little different. She had to be mega different. She had to be humongously different than anything out there because she understood 
that if I'm just a little different, people might mistake me for, for other people. If I'm just a little different, people may think I'm somebody else. If I'm just a little different, then there won't be enough separation for me to truly succeed in a marketplace where there's a new artist every single day, every single week. So I want you to pay attention to what Lady Gaga did. She didn't just create minor differences between what she looked like and how she performed. She created massive difference in her look, her style, her music, her message, okay? Created massive difference, and that's what you have to do. If you're starting out, maybe you've got a, a dog grooming business, or maybe you've got a cat hotel business. I don't know why I'm on that right now, but in every show I'm talking about a dog grooming or a cat hotel. But if maybe you are creating something like that where there's just massive competition. What is it that you're going to be able to do that's not only going to make, you know, it's not a color difference, it's not a location difference, but it's something in your service, in your products, in, in your delivery of your services that make you truly badass. I mean, it's like so different. Like we're going to drive 300 miles to put our cat in this hotel because it is just so different, okay? So what Lady Gaga was able to do and succeed at was making such a miles, so many miles of difference between her and the next person who is a pop or rock or whatever she is. That's another part of her badassery is that you don't even know which genre she fits into. She defies definition. Okay. What is it that you're doing to defy definition? What is it that you're doing that says, I'm going to spend my next 30 minutes with this guy or this girl because it's just so far removed from what everybody else in the, you know, on the universe is doing that I'm going to spend my 30 minutes with that person. Okay. So Lady Gaga, take a page from her book, create massive difference, not only in the products and services that you provide, but in how you provide those services. There's one other thing that Lady Gaga did that I really love about her, about her brand, is that she started to create from the very beginning a following of people who felt different. She said she always felt different growing up, right? So she knows that she's not an island by herself. She knows that other people felt different out there. There were other people who, who felt maybe isolated or felt like pariahs in society or whatever. And so she says, you know what, rather than further isolate those people, rather than create further separation from them and the rest of humanity, let's create a community, a tribe of people who thrive on being different, right? They thrive on being different. I mean, it was brilliant the way she was able to do that. The way she says, you know what, I'm not only just going to call you different people, I'm going to call you my little monsters, right? She made the word monsters cute. She made the word monsters, she made us embrace a word that we had prior to that pretty much looked down on or, or we felt like those people were, were social pariahs. I mean, they were different, right? Monsters, you don't typically think of them as people that we're going to embrace. But Lady Gaga was able to wrap her arms around that word monster and create a phenomenon around people who love being called Lady Gaga's monsters, okay? So quick recap on Lady Gaga. Create major separation in the way you look and the way you deliver your services in the message that you have in the marketplace. That's one key to success. The second key to success for Lady Gaga was, of course, in creating a community and a tribe of people who thrived on being different, okay? Thrive on being different. When they come to her concerts, they try to get as different as they can. Rather than being Sean or looked down upon for being different, she's found a way to help society. And even those who are not among the, the members of her tribe, she's helped change the way we look at the word monster, okay? Huge, huge message point. All right, Michael Jackson. I mean, I have this presentation where I was going, okay, Michael Jackson is like, like, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing with your music? Michael Jackson proved that you don't have to find a formula for, you don't have to follow the formula for how you do your, do whatever it is that you do, your brand, do you, right? He had some things that were very, very distinctly Michael. So you knew when you heard the, <laughs> you knew that was Michael Jackson. Nobody can ever do that. Nobody better try doing that because that is signature Michael Jackson. So the first lesson we learned from Michael Jackson is, of course, Figure out what is going to be your signature. What is your signature? Is it in the way you dress? Is 
Is it in the way you perform? Is it some sound? Is it is it visual? Is it audible? Is it uh, palpable? Is it something that you can feel, taste, touch, smell? What is going to be your signature? Badass brands have things that are signature to them. They are the only things that, that they can do, only things that if you try to duplicate them, you look like a phony because it's really not you, right? So you can't fake badassery. You can't do it. But you can't find the thing that makes you uniquely you. And so when you find that thing, as Michael Jackson did, as one of his things was, of course, grabbing his crotch. I don't know that you want to go that far, but listen, that moves me to my next point. Every person on my badass brands list today did something that was controversial. Every single one of them. Michael Jackson, I'm sure he was just in his flow one day and just decided to grab his crotch. I don't know why he decided to do that, but it is signature Michael Jackson, right? So one of the things you have to create immediately when you enter a crowded marketplace where there are thousands, millions of folks doing exactly what you do, create controversy, right? Most of us are afraid to create controversy. Most of us got to get the hair right. So, so, what's up with the hair? Um, <laughs> most of us are afraid to create controversy, right? Most of us are so afraid that we're going to lose or be rejected or that someone's not going to like us or someone's going to write things bad things about us that we are afraid to do a, a, a kind of a, um, a, a similar thing as grabbing your crotch, right? Now, I'm not saying you need to grab a crotch. I'm saying you need to do something that makes you stand out in the marketplace, all right? But again, it's got to be real. It's, it, it got to the point with Michael Jackson where we saw him grabbing his crotch that we just knew that he was going to do it. At some point during his show, at some point during Billy Jean, he was going to grab his crotch. But it was uniquely and supremely Michael. I mean, somebody else, I don't think anybody else can really do that. If you do it, it, it plays as fake. So you got to realize that I'm not saying go out there and do something that's not you, but you got to figure out what your signatures are in the marketplace. And then you got to do that. You got to put your stamp on those things so that people know, you know what? Don't mess with this. This is me. You can't do it the way I do it. Don't try to do it the way I do it. This is me. So Michael Jackson helped us to understand how to put your little touches, how to put your imprint on your artistry right? Whether you're a writer or a singer or a speaker or a CEO of a company, whatever it is, how do you put your stamp on it so that in the marketplace you are unmistakable, right? Turn on any radio station in the world, any planet, any continent, you hear a Michael Jackson song, first five bars, you know it's Michael Jackson, all right? So that's Lady Gaga we talked about, we talked about Michael Jackson. Let's, let's get a time check right here. Oh, yeah, we're rolling. We're rolling. All right. Let's talk about one of my favorite actors, Leonardo DiCaprio. All right? If you don't know who he is, Google him. Great young actor. People have likened him to Robert De Niro, how he is just a phenomenal actor, but how he really embodies the characters that he plays. Now, it's really interesting in a world that has made celebrities and stars out of people, right? You become a, a movie star just by getting a commercial or you're an actor or whatever. We've really figured out kind of the formula for success when it comes to acting. But there are those folks who defy, as I said earlier, kind of defy definition. Leonardo DiCaprio, that is a mouthful, trust me, has defied definition. Because this is a guy who's played Howard Hughes. He's played lots of different people who you're wondering, who can play these people? Well, what DiCaprio has shown us is that if you throw yourself into your work, if you truly become the actor that you're playing, then you separate, you create separation in the marketplace because now you're in that elite class of folks who are able to do things that other people just simply cannot do. That's what I love so much about Leo. Like I know him. <laughs> That's what I love so much about him is, is because when you see him as Howard Hughes, when you see him as um, Ed, uh, J. Edgar Hoover, you see him as these people and you think, wow, this guy has truly become these characters, right? So some of the things that we can take from, from Leo in building a badass brand is this work ethic of throwing yourself into your brand, right? Now, a lot of us, if you're an entrepreneur like me, a serial entrepreneur, then you got this idea, you got this idea, you got, 
But what I learned, what I really like to study from Leo DiCaprio is that he throws himself into a project. He throws himself fully into this character. And so he creates a brand as an actor, but then he becomes these characters. And so now he's creating even a brand around being those actors, right? Like you can't look at J. Edgar Hoover without seeing Leo DiCaprio. You can't look at Howard Hughes without now also seeing Leo DiCaprio. So throwing yourself into creating your brand is going to be critical. Again, I said at the top of the show is the internet has created a wonderful world for most of us. I'm a full-time internet marketer. So it, it's given us access to a platform that's literally changed our lives and our financial situations. But if you don't throw yourself into your projects, if you don't throw yourself into your brand, then you will become another me too. You will become another person who is, you know, just like the next motivational speaker, or just like the next person who, who does search engine optimization, or just like the next person who is a gospel singer. It doesn't matter what you do. If you don't throw yourself into your craft in a way that defies definition, you will not stand all right, so if you're just joining the Fran Harris Show, I'm going to do a quick little recap. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do a quick little recap. I'll do a quick little recap after I go through my fourth big badass brand, and that is Mark Zuckerberg. Notice, as I said at the beginning of the show, that all of these folks create controversy. So you might be thinking, man, do I have to, to have a badass brand? Do I have to, there has to be something controversial about me? By the, by the way, I'm not saying that controversy means you need to go out and rob a bank. I'm saying there has to be an edge to what you do, your products, programs, or services, your delivery of your programs, products, and services. There has to be an edge about you. There has to be something that you're not, that you're willing to go out on a ledge. You're willing to mess up. You're willing to um, be that person that people go, ooh, I can't believe she said that. I can't believe he's doing that. You gotta be willing to be that person. That's the only way you're gonna be able to create separate in the marketplace around who you are and what you do is not possible. You will never see someone who really is elevated out there. It doesn't matter what they're doing, whether it's around spirituality, whether it's around finances, whether it's around parenting, sports. The cream of the crop, the cream of the cream, the cream de la cream, right? The coup de grace, the French say. Those people have done something in the way they deliver whatever it is they, they deliver, how they deliver their talent, that's made someone uncomfortable. So you can't be afraid to make people uncomfortable. Yes, people are going to unsubscribe from your list. People are going to say, oh, I'm never going to, to watch another video of her, or I'm never going to attend another one of his events. But here's the thing. This world and the people who are successful in this world, and I don't mean just financially successful, the people in this world who have gotten there and made a difference in the world are people who have pushed the envelope, right? I mean, seriously, you wouldn't still be watching this video if I were delivering this video like this. Here's what you need to know about Mark Zuckerberg. You'd be like, up oh, next, snooze, right? So there has to be an authenticity about how you deliver what you deliver in your brand. But at the same time, you got to realize that the format of success and the formula of success always includes pushing the envelope. It always includes doing something just a little bit differently, saying something just a little bit differently than the other people who are out there doing it. So I move on to my fourth badass brand, which is Mark Zuckerberg, right? The founder, creator of Facebook. Arguably the most innovative brand that we've seen in the last hundred years, right? We thought YouTube was fantastic, which we know it is. Thank you, YouTube. But, uh, but Facebook, we are discovering, is even more interesting and intriguing by the simple fact that it was built on the premise of connecting people, right? So Mark Zuckerberg created this badass brand around a simple concept of connecting people, right? You can find your third grade teacher. You can find the boyfriend or the girlfriend that you had back in the seventh grade that you had the crush on. You never got over. Now, even if you're married right now, you still never got over your seventh grade crush. You can find that person because of the ingenuity of Mark Zuckerberg, right? You know what? In fact, what, here's what I want to do. I want to give Mark Zuckerberg a little love right here. In fact, I'm going to give all of my folks a little love right here. The great thing is that we're doing a Google Hangout right now. So on Google Hangout, you can do things like um, adding. I hope you can still see me because I went off the screen. Yes, you're at, there I am. You can add little effects. 
So I'm gonna give Mark Zuckerberg and Lady Gaga and Michael Jackson and Leo a little love here as soon as this amps up. I'm gonna give him some love. There it is. Yeah. Well, let's give him another round of applause for those folks. All right, so <laughs> on Google Hangout, what I'm doing right now, like I'll get to Google Hangout in a minute, but Mark Zuckerberg, able to create a platform that allows us to connect to people from our past and people that we have come across either at events, those kinds of things. What I love about the ingenuity of Zuckerberg is that he was willing to withstand all the controversy and the conflict. Now, I don't know whether what he did with the Harvard guys is true or not. None of us will ever know. We make our conclusion based on what we've read in the newspaper and seen in the movie, but we don't really know. We weren't there, so we don't really know what happened. It doesn't matter, actually. When you talk about building a badass brand, it doesn't matter whether you agree with how that all went down or not. Right? I have some my own opinions about that. The reality is he's been able to craft and build a brand around a simple concept called connection simple concept of connecting people to folks that they have gone to school with or gone to church with or whatever it is. So what is it that you're going to build your badass brand around? What is it that you're going to build your brand around? What concept are you going to exploit to make sure that you are building a brand that stands the test of time? Now, there are lots of people on YouTube. Uh, I said thank you YouTube earlier for creating uh, Google Plus and for creating this Hangout platform. There are lots of people out there who are attempting to copy what Zuckerberg has done. There are people who are out there who are attempting to copy what Lady Gaga has done. There are people out there attempting to mimic what Michael Jackson has done or even Leo DiCaprio. And there's nothing wrong with that. But how do you create distinction in the marketplace? That's what this show is all about. Creating a badass brand around a concept that's near and dear to your heart. Maybe it's helping people to make money. I mean, my brand is about helping you to have an incredible, unimaginable, amazing life and business. That's what I do. That's what I've done for 20 years. I do that in a lot of different ways. I speak, I write, but that's what my brand is about. But think about the millions of folks who in some way, shape, or form have the same mission. How do I create separation in the marketplace around that topic, around this concept of helping people have a badass life? That's the challenge for all of us, right? That's a challenge. How do you break through the clutter of the millions of thousands of folks in your local town or the millions of folks online sitting at a camera right now, sitting at their computer right now, doing exactly what you do? So it's a question. It keeps me on my grind. It should keep you on your grind. It's a question that we all have to answer every single day. And so for me, it fires me up. I study successful people. I study successful brands. That's one of the things that you can do to really elevate the way you think about building your brand, right? Most of us have not given a whole lot of thought to how we're going to build our brand. We just do. And I understand that when I started my company over 20 years ago, I was like, look, I'm leaving this job. I'm going to start my own thing. I'm going out there. I'm doing my thing. I'm going to do me. But I never really thought about how I was going to do me. I was just attempting to get in motion because I know it's the start that stops most people. So I got in motion. But shortly thereafter, I'm thinking that probably what you're thinking is like, okay, so these are some good points. How do I create more distinction in the marketplace? Is it in my delivery format? Is it I'm a wild and crazy girl? Is it in the toys that I use when I deliver my services? Is it in my message? What is it in my madness? How do I create distinction in the marketplace? So what I wanted to do was to give you an opportunity to really take a look at not only the four folks I talked about today, Lady Gaga, Michael Jackson, Leo DiCaprio, and Mark Zuckerberg, but also to look around and to challenge you to look around at the people in your industry who are doing it and name three people who you believe are doing it at a level that you want to do it at, right? Who are the folks who are doing what you do at the level that you want, where you want to be, right? So it doesn't mean you go out and mimic those people because I really believe it won't ring true if you are not the person. You can't go out and be wild and crazy if you're not a wild and crazy person. You can't go out and be a loud person like I am, if that's not you, right? This is me whether I'm on, on camera or not. So you got to figure out first and foremost who you are and then how can you translate that into your business or your service or your message so that it rings true in the marketplace. Because just like I love to tell people who want to be on television, I'm like, 
television will bring out who you are. If you're insecure, it will bring it out. If you're funny, it will bring it out. It will amplify who you are. If you're energetic, it'll bring that out. So creating your badass brand has to be authentic. But at the same time, I want to challenge you to do some research starting today of the three people who are doing what you do and just check out how they do it. And then more importantly, step more into you doing you at the best level and at the highest level that you can do you at this point. All right. So if you're just joining the Fran Harris show and you missed it, we recapped a couple of things about uh, creating a badass brand. We talked about creating a badass brand. We talked about Lady Gaga and how she created her tribe of little monsters. That's one of the things we took away from that. Michael Jackson, distinction in the marketplace among artists. He did the hee <laughs> hee. He also grabbed his crotch. Not saying he need to grab your crotch, but the point of the matter is those things are distinctly Michael Jackson. What is distinctly you? Leo DiCaprio, DiCaprio showed us how to jump into a project, fully engage and become whoever you are. I talked about him being this guy who, who fully becomes the character that he plays in his movies. And by that, by doing that, he has this elite level of mastery that makes him unmistakable in the marketplace. Mark Zuckerberg created a phenomenon, a billion dollar business around a simple concept. See, this doesn't have to be complicated, right? Creating your badass brand does not have to be complicated. He created a simple platform around connection that has really changed the way we stay in we stay in touch with folks. The other thing I want to say real quickly, as you can tell by my brand, is that you can't seek perfection, right? You get on television, which is what I do most. <laughs> that's my life mostly, and teaching. You get on on television, you get on stage, you do whatever it is, whatever your stage is, and you're gonna mess up. You're gonna screw something up. You're gonna say the wrong word. Your, your hair is gonna be out of place. Something's gonna happen. It ain't that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal, right? You got to go out there and be who you are because by being who you are, you show other people that perfection is something that we shouldn't even seek, right? You want excellence, you want mastery, but even in seeking and achieving those things, you're never going to be perfect, right? So just get it going, get started. I know you can create a badass brand. It starts with you today, not apologizing for who you are going out there truly providing value and serving people, serving the folks who are going to follow you, being a leader in, in all of those areas, but more importantly, just being who you are and understanding from top, from the jump, that you are already a badass brand. Now it's a matter of you embodying that, becoming that B-A-B -B in the marketplace. I'm Fran Harris for The Fran Harris Show. I am here every Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Looking forward to seeing you guys back here next Monday. Until then, go out there and make a difference. I'll talk to you soon.